Big change up today, Thursday the 7th of September 2023. We're in the kitchen. We are in the kitchen and I've got my glasses on because I've got allergies. I can't get my contact lenses in. And what else is happening? So over there, if I'm looking out of the window, there is a group of probably four or five men that are peeling all the tiles off the roof opposite. You know the house where she didn't paint the, um, so that the door's like this colour. This is exactly what the colour is like here. Not quite as good as these. These are kind of greeny grey units, but that one's just grey. But anyhow, yeah, so there's guys there, um, yeah, just peeling stuff off. They've got the radio on, the whole bit. So I've decamped into the kitchen. Here we are, I know. So, trying to see if there's any cats in the garden. Can't see any cats in the garden. You don't get to see much on this side of the house. If I get any cat action, I will let you know. Forthwith, yes. Okay. Oh, there's some meows from the other side of the door though. What do we need to know? This is the question. What do we need to know, you? Ooh. Oh, for God's sake, what is with that card? It's like it's kind of following us around recently. Oh gosh, okay. I might have to declare some spiritual big jobs here a little, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, a soup song of spiritual big jobs. Spiritual big jobs. Okay. We kick off with the Seven of Swords. No, I've blown the gaff. Seven of Swords is on the table. Seven of Pentacles or wheels as they are. We are using the Golden Wheel Tarot. So we kick off with the seven of pentacles. And this is where you've got the farmer and he's standing in his field or outstanding in his field. And he's like contemplating the harvest, such as I would do of my garden at this time. A ragtag and bobtail of plants. Oh, there's Minnie. Hi. Plants that once looked nice and now look a bit scraggy. And a cat and a nose that's running. Hi, sweetie. A cat that's also looking a bit scraggy. She's looking, oh, she's coming into the cat flap now. Come on, Minnie, you coming for the reading? Hi. Yeah, you are assessing, you're having a look. You're thinking, right, okay, what's out there? How much work have I put into this? And do I want to do this again next time? You know, next time there's a harvest, Am I game for this or am I not? So, okay, we have the Knight of Cups. This has been the case for a few days that it feels like there is some kind of message or offer or something that's on the table and we don't quite know what to do with it. <laughs> Sorry, there's some meowing going on here. It's an offering. It can be a love offer because it's the Knight of Cups. It can be an offer of something you love. Either way, it's an offer, okay? It's an offer to you. Do you wanna do this again? Do you wanna try this? Do you wanna do that? What do you think of this? Then our old friend, the Seven of Swords, is back in action. Here he is, Seven of Swords, sneaking around. What is this card? Let me know in the comments section how it resonates with you and then we can see if there's any like common threads between people because it just feels interesting that this one every single time and I've shuffled the deck but every single time this one quite you know pertinently finds its way. It's persistent and then the tower. Now, with the Seven of Swords, and then you get the Tower, and you also have the Five of Swords, which is Venus and Aquarius. 
there is a certain boxing clever type thing going on. So it may be, as it is with the Seven of Swords, that there is sneakiness or there is underhandedness or there is stuff you just don't know about. We're in so many retrogrades at the moment, Mercury being just the most bonkers retrograde going that I can't, I just can't. And it feels like we may also have to operate on a need to know basis. And sometimes when you get the Seven of Swords, that's what it is. It's like, yeah, I know you need to know this, but we're on a need to know basis and you don't need to know it right now. Even if you're an empath, which normally means that you're ready to blab the farm at any moment, you're just like, yes, how can I be a people pleaser and blab the farm? Even the empaths will be wanting to keep this below deck, okay? The tower has other ideas. Something may come out anyway. There is fire here. Fire is an element that's been following us around for the last few weeks. No matter what star sign you are, it's been having its way with situations that can no longer be just, okay, you know, brushed under the carpet. And the Five of Swords being Venus and Aquarius is somebody who's being either passive aggressive or it's playing that game of chess where they're making something happen the whole time. And then here we got the Four of Swords, which I'm very pleased to see. Managing to make peace with something at last. Finding peace in some way of dealing with this. Now you might be dealing with a person who's very persistent. You might be dealing with a person who is very resistant. You may be getting an offer from someone or a communication from someone and they want an answer and you just don't know if you want to do it. You don't, ooh. You don't know if you want to give it. You don't know if you want to do it. Oh, hello. Benefactor. Grace and generosity. Nice. I'm going to take one more as well. Benefactor, of course, means somebody might want to give you something. And it could be coming from a place of grace and generosity. Or it might not. Okay. I think the cat's trying to break the door down. like the cats are sending me silent messages. We get cat a uh, pillar, <laughs> an opportunity. So there is something, this Knight of Cups, who also has been coming up in the readings a lot. The Knight of Cups is offering something, okay? They're offering something. They are coming up with something that is tempting to you, something that is tempting enough that it gives you pause enough to be, you know, metaphorically speaking, standing out in your field, looking around thinking, mm, you know, that, that kind of mm, feeling. It's interesting because the Knight of Cups is persistent and has been turning up day after day after day, but the Seven of Swords is persistent as well and has been turning up day after day after day. There's definitely something underneath. There's something underneath the ether that we need to get into. It feels like we could go on like this for a while, or it may be as late as the two eclipses that we have in October on the 14th and the 28th that it happens, but the tower is just like, I have had enough of everybody, you know, tiptoeing around whatever this situation is. I am gonna raise this to the ground. I am gonna make sure that it gets talked about. I've got something to say. So this could be around that time. It feels like for me, because it's Scorpio season by the time we get to those, um, the one on the 28th of October is Scorpio season. And it just feels like there's a real revelatory process going on here. It could happen slowly and last until then, or it could happen, boom, out of nowhere. 
we will wait and see let me know how that resonates with you though it's very interesting and i'll see you tomorrow from who knows where namaste